Hello YouTube, my name is Dennis and I'm going to show you how to build a contact database using Microsoft Access. And in this database is going to help us achieve two things. That is, if you lose your phone, you don't lose your contact. And also group them according to priority. So let's get on it. First of all, you're going to open Microsoft Access and you're going to use a blank desktop database. Click on it and it says name blank database. You want to name it, say contact info. Info. Then you click the create button. It opens a new database. Let's go here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're going to build a database that will collect this information, the date that we are collecting the information, the name of the person, the phone number, and relationship we have with this person we are collecting the information about. Let's go back to database. Uh, Microsoft Access. Now we are here. We go to the view. Click the view button. It says name your table. So we're gonna name it contact. Contacts. Click OK. Now we are here. As you can see, we already have this one already named, and it's called ID, and the data type is auto. We're going to uh, change it to contact ID and move to the next. Click dates and yes, um, your name. The name you supply is a reserve word. Reserve words have specific meaning to Microsoft or to the Microsoft database engine. If you use a reserve where you may receive an error when referring to this field. You click OK. And we take um, the data type. Let's go. We already have date and time, and we're going to use date and time. Data type. The next one, we want the name. Person. In the data type, this one too. Dialog box open. Click OK. And we want shot. Text. Say phone number. Short test, and we want the relationship we have with this person. That's also a short test. Now let's format the data type. The phone number. We're gonna format it to be a phone number data type. So we go to the input max. Uh, first, you must save this database. Let's save it first. Saved data type. You go to the input max. Click input max. And as you can see, we have a phone number. And this is the format for phone number. So we click finish. Now our database is ready to use. Now you got to go to the view page. Do you want to save? Do you want to save the table now? Yes. Now we have all the information we need. Let's put in the information we have here into our database. The date 10 2014. Right here. 10 20 2014 got that and the name James Moore I'll copy this and I'll paste it here
I'll paste it here. And the phone number. Let me just put in any number. You don't have to go by the information that I just provided. You got it? And James is my manager. We have the next one, which is 10 of uh, Franklin. Albums and his phone number is this, and he's my supervisor. And let's go to next, and we have Dennis Cruz. This phone number is this. He's my brother. So, this is my database. As you can see, the date, um, the contact ID keeps going one, two, and three, and it will keep increasing. As you go on, now we have our database. Let's see what we can do we're going to create a report and a form that we can easily use to pull up a name so let's go say we're going to create a form using uh this information so we go this and now we have a form that we can use now i can also input and information here and it will update this table so let's do that let's add another information and you will see what will happen in the table let's go to the last and the date we choose this time name is um, John and his phone number is seven two zero five six eight four five six one. And he's my co-worker. And let's save this. And say, do you want to save yourself uh, your form? Say yes. And I will name it contact form. Now we have let's close or yes. Let's open the contact table. And you can see we now have John Benson updated in our table. Now let's create a report of all this contact info so that we can have all the information, all the contact we have in our report. Go to the create button, say create, um, we click the report. Now let's clean this report up a little bit. In contact reports, name it contact reports. And I will delete this date, delete this, delete this, and I will make this
Now we're going to save this report. Contact reports. Now let's close this. Let's put in another info. Then we're going to see it in our report. First, James Brown. His contact number is 819-856-234-2345. And he's my co-worker. Now let's save this contact and close it. Let's open our report and see. Now we have James Brown in our contacts. So whenever we put in information here, it updates in our contact report. This is how you build a contact database that you can store all your contact information thank you for watching and see you next time